Welcome back to Cactus Corp Plays Mass Effect 3. My name's Kevondre. And my name is Bobby. Last time, finished up the Citadel DLC. It was awesome. It was a very good time. I really like it. This time, it's the beginning of the end. Yeah. We, we've done this series for three games. Uh, this second game, as well as the third game, are going to be the same amount of episodes, which are the longest of my series overall. Not the longest on my channel. Bobby plays longer games, but... Yeah. All the same. Only two episodes left. Today, we take down Cerberus. You're trying to sound all, like, somber and serious and stuff, but after that for a Reckle Face video, <laughs> no. Yeah, that's pretty good. I really liked it, so. Nah, you can't get me down today, bro. Alright, right, fair enough. I'm just kind of sad, because I fucking love this series. And we're not going to do Andromeda for the channel. If we if we do play Andromeda, it'll be streaming. It's more that kind of game than an episode kind of game. Yeah. Watching but, him play it when he got it, it's... It's not very episodic. Yeah. It's a great game. Fourth best of four, but still a great game. Yeah, I understand why a lot of people didn't like it, mostly because it just felt very different. There's a lot, the yeah, aspects. it's a lot more of a grind, rather than, you know, here's a mission, here's a mission, here's a mission, which is fine. A lot of games, a lot of gamers prefer that these days, so I don't know, but whatever. We're going after Cerberus. In case you forgot why, because we took a, you know, five episode break after the last <laughs> plot mission. Yeah. Um, yeah, let's do a recap. What, what we got? So we went to Horizon. Uh, right. Where Miranda's father was running horrible experiments on the uh, people who were going there for uh, refuge. Mm -hmm. um, turning them into husks and things like that. Right, because they were trying to figure out, like, the Reaper signal and all that stuff. Right. And we lost Miranda in that. Right. And now we said, hey, fuck that shit. Uh, mm -hmm. Trainer that trainer shit. managed to track um, Kai Lang, so we know where the Cerberus base is. So we're going to go do an assault on the Cerberus base. That's right. Bam. Shepard, the intel you sent looks good. The fleets are ready to go. But? Once we're committed against Cerberus, it won't be long before the Reapers take notice. And the Crucible? Ready. Except for the Catalyst. But there's no way to hide the ships we'll be sending at Cerberus. Once we attack, the Crucible won't stay safe for long. For all intents and purposes, an assault on Cerberus will be the first stage of our attack on Earth. Right. So the game is telling us, hey, once once you're committed, that's it. You're not going to be able to do anything else. This is the kind of thing that games do where it's just like, hey, if you got to finish up anything else, just, you know, do it now. Yeah. But Got to have that point of no return for the collectibles. Exactly. But... We haven't done everything in this game, but that's okay. Yes, we'll be um, fine. Actually, you know what? I Give me just sure a second. We you want to check your war Understood. stuff? No, Before that's fine. That's more are. than fine. I just want to make a save file. Oh. There we go. You fucking asshole. All right. Got to go back out here and, and start that again. But yeah, I wanted to make a save file just so that I can go back and, you know, after we're done with this, I still want to go back and do more of the Citadel stuff. So, you know, I'm going to. Yeah. Not not on the channel. Free time. Exactly. Just for funsies. I've actually been thinking about doing another playthrough of the whole trilogy on my own time. Because, yeah. you know. You've only done it 30 times. I, I don't have 10,000 other games to play. Right. Almost an entire workshop. Man, are you ready to send the fleets play? against the Cerberus stronghold? Let's go. The Reapers and Cerberus started this. Now we're gonna end it. I'll get the fleets mobilized. Pepper says hello. You sure it's not that dumbass kid downstairs? Could be. It's time for a, a sexy downstairs time. neighbor's kid who just goes around barking like a dog. Yeah. And that one time a bird for no fucking reason. He did evolve. And his parents are just like, yeah, whatever. We have weird neighbors. It's true. Except our sideways neighbors. They're great. Yeah, they're 
probably the best people in this entire complex. They're better than us. Yeah, that's true. What's up, boy? Uh, can't sleep either. No. Not without you. Making yourself crazy with this won't help. Caden, I need to... Shh. Just take five minutes. A quick drink. And then I'll go. Shepard, you know that you've done everything you could, right? I hope so. I keep running the numbers to see if I've missed something. You have. You didn't you play You have to long. take this all on yourself. Look to your crew. To the talented people fighting by your side. What you've accomplished since the Reapers arrived is... It's just nothing short of amazing. It's, it's gonna be... It's gonna be what it is. He consoles like I do. What are you thinking about right now? Ah, oh, the good times. Tits. And the, you, uh, you don't hard times. Soul. Exactly. <laughs> oh, okay. It's been an unforgettable few years. I'll never forget that first night we bunked together. Yeah. Yeah, there was no sound. It was great. Of course not. I mean, I was uh, pretty spectacular, if I remember right. This is the way Cavandre consoles. Mm -hmm. You're like, oh my gosh, this horrible thing's happening. He's like, oh, well, I'm going out for food. And then he just leaves. Yeah, I, I'm very bad at consoling. <laughs> It's great. Like I got a friend calling me crying, and I'm like, I don't know what to say. I like, I wish I could help, but fuck. <laughs> yeah, all the same. And, and I mean, Caden just saying, you know, it's gonna be what it is. I'm like, okay, thanks. Yeah, you're exactly what I need right now. Well, bang, okay. Okay. <sighs> I lied. I, I didn't come here for a quick drink. Yeah, no shit. No issues there, big boy. You mean a lot to me, Kate. I love you. I love you too. Until the end of time. That's Put it like, in me already. It's like two more weeks, tops? Yeah. Tomorrow, basically. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Where are you going? All right. I mean, we already, like, fucked three times in this game. Yeah. Get it out and get it in. He did. And then out or and is, in. is about to, I should say. Then out and in again. Yeah, why didn't you just use these models for the Citadel? Save it for this. Yeah, they didn't want to get in trouble from Fox News again by having side boot. What? The first game, you saw Liara's side boob, and Fox News got really mad about it. Seriously? Yeah. Oh, hey, I forgot about this. <laughs> it's been a while. <laughs> now go back and get the lieutenant, and get the hell out of here. You know it's the right choice, LT. Shut up, Ashley. It's Ashley. Oh yeah, I forgot you've died. Shepard. She has the weirdest sex dreams. She's thinking about a bunch of uh, very large, rigid phallic objects growing out of the ground. Yeah, turns out PTSD is her kink. And a baby. She's got that uh, biological clock. Caden's got that biotic cock. Well, that happens. <laughs> Do you have a condom? Don't need a condom. I got biotics. It tingles. Yeah. He just puts a little biotic field around his vast deferens so nothing goes through there. <laughs> Impressive, Caden.
he's got spunk, or I guess now she does. <sighs> What's up? Are we gonna make it, Caden? <sighs> We're ready. You've put the people together, the vision, and what you've done, Shepard, is build hope. I'm glad I inspire that in you, but sometimes <laughs> you're right. Give us hope and a fighting chance. <laughs> Hell, the Reapers better watch themselves. team is in. We've got our foothold. Fifth Fleet, all forward. I don't want a single server ship in my sky when we're through. Shepard, I should accompany you on this mission. Why? This is the central point of operations for Cerberus. They will have enhanced security measures. With my knowledge of Cerberus algorithms and this body's updated protocols, I offer the best chance to help you succeed. Do we take her with us? Yeah, we don't get a choice. Okay. And we're going to take our boy. Very nice. As much as I liked this gun, it just doesn't have that much ammo. So let's go with the Phalanx. I really like that other gun. Yeah, it's a nice gun, but... Can you give it to somebody else to use? Somebody else who never runs out of ammo? That I can. There you go. Though he should not be using a pistol. He should be using this or... Well, in case he decides to switch to a pistol for some dumb fuck reason. Yeah, they, they do that. Check with the button. Win it, win it, Oscar. Uh, you too. Casa Locust. There we go. Nice. Gun that killed two presidents. And she's got all them points. I haven't taken her in a mission for a, a while. Yeah, that's true. We, I think we did it just that one time. Uh, yep. Yep. Yeah, usually we like to leave her on the ship so that way Joker has company. Yeah. You know, he, he deserves it. He likes to uh, look at her, build, builds his morale. And nothing is more important than Joker's morale. I agree. And decoys. There we go. Oh, it is David. While David jump out. Hello, David. Hello. Joker, what's our status? We've got a foothold, but it's not much, Commander. A lot of fighters guarding the launch base. Can you get us in? Hey, I got us to Ilos. I can do this. It might be a bumpy ride, though. Do what you can. Shepard, I am ready. Wait, what? Are you crazy? You can't go to Cerberus headquarters. They could have a virus or a kill switch or... I will be fine, Jeff. Head to the shuttle, Edie. Fifth Fleet's cut through their line. They're regrouping. Now's as good a time as any. Just get us in there safely. I'll take care of you, girlfriend. Well, that wasn't ominous. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes... Damn it. The fleet needs your help. The Cerberus ships have some upgrades that outclass Alliance specs. The Normandy's the most advanced ship in the galaxy. Go do some damage. Got it. And Shepard, tell Edie to kick some ass. Oh, she's gonna. Yeah. She'll probably be my less useful squad mate, but all the same. Hey. Maybe some bad guys will, you know, pin her up against a wall and make her collar up. <laughs> <laughs> and roll through satin sheets naked. Yes. Yeah. 
Are you saying that Samantha is is the bad guy? No. Good, because I like Samantha, so she shouldn't. Like I'm just saying I I want Samantha to be. No, I need it hard shipped. He just wants her to be a very bad girl. Yes. Yes. She is a robot. Everything okay, Cortez? Ye. Fuck him up. Arr! Do they have that like little security beam that wipes out your shields? I think that they just shot me or something. Oh, okay. Commander, watch out! Arr! You know what I'm talking about, though, right? That like electric wave that would just shut down your shields. Oh, in the in the Geth ship? Yes. Because that would be super annoying here. That would be pretty annoying. Your head explodes. It's important that they actually explode. You can't just have the head no longer be there. It's got to really pop. Yeah. Get him. Uh, you just shoot him in the Can ankle. You stop them? I need an active console. Try the upper level. Yeah, we're already on the upper level. I know what I'm doing. Yeah, we know how to get up and get down. Oh yeah. Edie, I've got a console. Go! Yeah, but we're playing on PC, so. Procedure. Disabled. Can you open the hangar? No. However, I can access their fighter launch controls. Shepard, Cerberus is aware that the venting attempt failed. Reinforcements are inbound. That's fine. Nice. Hey, when I doubt, shoot him in the foot. Yeah. The Achilles protocol indeed. Another Cerberus team is inbound. Guess they figured out what we're trying. They're Get not it? stopping us now. <laughs> it is a humorous joke. Yes. Maximum joke too. Joke too? Yes. Okay. Oh. <laughs> That's right, bitch. Turn the fuck around like an idiot. Hey, asshole. I was using that. I just remembered where I uh, knew the bounty hunter dude in Alita Battle Angel from. The Which bounty hunter dude? The one with the sword. In oh, movie. okay. He, he was uh, Francis in Deadpool. Yeah. I don't know why I need to share that. It just clicked in my head. Oh. Perfect. Let's get what a crazy there. random happenstance. Yeah. Like, don't judge me. I judge you every day of my life. That's very true. David also judges yeah. you. I also judge David, probably. I don't judge David. He's I don't better. have anything to judge yeah. David for. Yeah, he's better than us. It's okay. Yeah. Bobby has a better beard. Oh, but, that's, but that's it. That's like my one thing. Launching fighter. Do you agree? Yeah. Nice work. Oh, thank you. The central lab was located it. behind this hangar. I suggest we follow the fighter's path. Noted. Let's move. Just hand right through the gun. Yeah, but I appreciate it when they do the scenes that they actually use the gun that I use. Yeah. Rather than just swapping it out for the like the default Avenger. Yeet him. Especially since there are some games where that can actually get troublesome and you can lose your gun for the cutscene gun because it fucking hates you. Is that a thing? It is a thing. I've had it happen in a few games. That's unfortunate. Sometimes it works out because the gun they use in the cutscene is actually a better gun. And you're just like, oh, okay. That's fair. And you specifically need it for that mission for some reason. Oh, 
but the smoke is in the way. Oh, we killed it anyway, whatever. Yeah, see, you're totally fine. Smoking kills, I think, is really what's important here. I think, uh, I, I like the idea that we just fired a, a fighter through this wall to get through it. Yeah. And then you still use the door. Yeah. Well, no point in walking through fire. Not barbarians. Edie, can you get past it? One moment. Cerberus has updated their encryption. There may be a slight delay as I bypass security. Let me know when you're through. I am through. We must proceed through a sub-level to avoid Cerberus containment measures. Where do you think we'll find the Prothean VI? A central lab at the heart of this facility. It is the most secure area. Following the destruction left by the fighter will offer the most direct route. Whee! Maybe she's faster just because I have this installed on the solid state? Yeah, probably. That's only that one door on the Normandy. That is way faster because of that. Yes. Man, when I played on the PS3, oof. <laughs> that was, I mean, just terrible in general. Don't play the Mass Effect games on PS3. Yeah. They really did a very poor job of porting those over. That, they did. It was, it was just awful. That's okay, though. Like, I thought... You know, oh, the second game is really bad on the PS3. The third one they must fix, right? Nope. <laughs> I mean, it was better than twos. Not by a lot. Sound showing up way after the things happen. Their intention is to delay us, not stop It's hard. Yeah, play these games on PC. Yeah, PC Master Race. Though it's still pretty good on Xbox. Contains data you may find interesting. Well, the Switch is a close second at? right now. The Project PC. Lazarus, your reconstruction. They, they made those on the Switch. They made it on the Wii U, and I, I played it. As much as I loved the Wii U, it was not my preferred version of this game. Yeah, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. Still better than the PS3. Oh no, not the version, the Wii U bit. Oh. It's always a matter not of resources. Wii U. We're not losing Shepard. Sir, Shepard is clearly brain dead. After that much trauma, that long with no oxygen, we cannot overcome nature. Operative Lawson disagrees. She is now in charge of Project Lazarus. I didn't realize it was that bad. I thought you were just on life support. Clinically brain dead. Looks like. What was it like? I mean, if you remember. Or... How do you feel? No different than any other time I've been knocked out. Just took them a little longer to slot me back into fighting shape. I'm still me. And this, it doesn't change anything. You're real enough for me. That's right, kid. Tissue regeneration is proceeding. The helmet kept the brain intact for whatever good that will do. Lawson will find a way. Sir, Shepard's an Alliance soldier. As far as she knows. We're a terrorist organization. I'm not looking for a dance partner. Yeah, she'd be a bad Shepard. one anyway. And Shepard needs yeah. resources. She'll work with us. You knew you well. The Alliance wasn't listening. What the hell was I supposed to do, sit and wait? You were trying to protect humanity. You didn't have a choice. Yeah, you could have joined me on Horizon, asshole. Yeah, you're the dick here, Kate. <laughs> Project Lazarus is reporting neurological activity. They're requesting more funding. Granted. Get me our potential recruits file. Shepard will be up soon. We need a crew. Our existing forces should be more than sufficient. No. We need sympathetic faces. I need Shepard invested. Tap Kelly Chambers and recruit Donnelly. I imagine Miss Daniels will follow. We want some old friends as well. Contact Dr. Chakwas and send me the site profile on Shepard's pilot, along with a bottle of 47 Thessia Rend. He used those people as a shield. You never saw what Cerberus really was. Yeah, fair enough. How's that door coming, Edie? We are clear to proceed. 
She was just Amazing. faking taking very long so that we could watch all of those. Yeah. It's awfully convenient to just song same time to hack that door as it did to watch those videos. Yeah. Good work. Do you need support? Negative. Keep the heat on. We'll find what we need. Whatever Dana just cooked up in the microwave smells amazing. Hungry man. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm getting hungry. I'm gonna make some burritos after this episode. Burrito? Yeah. You're a pylon. My mom's a pylon. Holy oh, shit, shit. Go over. You stupid bitch. What? Oh yeah, decoy. <laughs> I forgot. Because this is generally the only mission I use Edie on. Not because she's like useless or anything, I just... Edie's okay. He just likes other characters better. Yeah, I think she's just a little boring. Yeah. Aside from when she puts bodies in the buildings and center. Yeah, pizza Hut from this. I don't mind Pizza Hut, it's fine to me. I just like other pizza better. Yeah, I've had worse pizza than Pizza Hut. Had better too. Yeah. Best pizza I've had was Sal's. Or Salvo's. Bitch! Hey, asshole. I'm trying not to die here. Well, you're sucking at it. I haven't died yet. Oh, because you're shooting fools in the dick. Yeah. It's not cool. It's the right thing to do. I can't be shooting fools in the dick. I can if there's Cerberus. Nah. Oh, I guess not. We got three heads. I mean, you gotta shoot them in three different dicks. Three times as bad. Three different dicks? Yeah. Because he has three different heads. I don't think it means that head. I know how I chose to interpret it. Oh, well let's just call up Hades and ask him. Yeah. I will bypass the lock. If you are interested, the console nearby is still functional. I am interested. Well, he'll be like, yeah, it's got those weird little bitty doggy freckles on it, like a Dalmatian, so that's why I call them spots. Bit of old spotted six. Oh, no. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'll be quiet now so y'all can enjoy the game. <laughs> Here's what we recovered. Smart enough to signal for help, but it won't be talking philosophy anytime soon. You'd be surprised, Doctor. Once we combine it with the pieces we recovered from the Citadel. I'm still concerned about that. This rogue VI wiped out every soldier on Luna. Combining it with Reap Attack? Well, that's what the shackles are for. The enhanced defense intelligence be completely under control. You were that rogue VI on Luna? Yes. I heard about the Luna incident. Ugly all around. Did we not do that difficult. one? Gaining awareness while under I don't recall. I don't think confusing. so. I am pleased that my relationship with Organics has become more cooperative. Maybe not. Yeah, no, I don't think we did. Okay. Well, in the first game, you can go to the Earth's moon... And there's a rogue VI that's destroying a bunch of soldiers. That's right, we did skip that. Yeah, okay. Turns out it was Edie. Nice. Good for her. <laughs> Our sims indicate that the enhanced defense intelligence gives the highest combat improvement on frigates. Anything heavier, yeah, well, the frigate. ships react too slowly to benefit from Edie's advice. Edie? Oh, that's uh, what well, the boys in the lab came up with a name for. For it. Good work. I'll take your recommendations on planned installation. Sir, she... It can be very persuasive. If it were to turn a crewman, convince them to disable the shackles. Well... It's a cyber warfare suite, Doctor. Nothing more. I don't know about that one. It shows what he knew. It is unlikely that anyone without Jeff's extreme emotional attachment to his ship would have been willing to unshackle me. I don't know. With that voice... Nice. Yeah, Samantha would have done it. <laughs> In a heartbeat. <laughs> what about the backups? I'm sorry, sir. None of Normandy's surveillance feeds have been responding since Shepard went rogue. I want it back. 
retried the remote lockdown protocols. After our last attempt, ED flooded our server with seven zettabytes of explicit images. Nice. I think she was making a joke. It doesn't make jokes, Doctor. Allocate a team for a new project. Codename Eva. This time, we'll ensure it stays loyal. You never told me about Cerberus trying to shut down the Normandy. You had more pressing issues. The situation was under control. Seven zettabytes? Most of it was Jeff's. <laughs> <laughs> a joke. I know. And thank you. So also in this room, uh, if we didn't go and do Jack's mission earlier at the at the Grissom Academy, yeah, we would have some more things over here, where Cerberus had captured Jack and had recordings of changing her. And I hate that. That is like the literal worst possible thing that could have happened to that character. Another security lock. I can bypass it. Incursion team. Admiral, we're in deep, and the Prothean VI will be in the safest part of the station. Don't hold back. This isn't Torfin Shepard. I'm not risking you unless I have to. I'll be fine. Just take Cerberus down. Please. Understood, Commander. All ships, you're free to fire. Proto Reaper Shepard destroyed. What's left of it? I guess Cerberus recovered it from the base. I wish I could have helped. You're here now. Well, you could have. Cerberus is actively using the surviving pieces. The head is largely intact. I believe they are using it for high level computing operations. So let's go fuck it up. More Cerberus forces on route. And this phantom right here yeah. would just be named Jack. Oh, that's fucked up. Yeah. I don't like that. I know how much you love Jack. I do. She is, she is my favorite. She's one of my favorite video game characters of all time. That's why you got like little art prints of her and stuff like that. Yeah, man. It's dope as fuck. And I love this uh, suicide mission music playing here. Very environment -setting. This series does that kind of shit all the time. They'll just reuse music in opportune points. And sometimes trailers for movies will do it too. Uh, yeah, fucking Daredevil. <laughs> running. Uh, I didn't see any leg movement. It was just like... Blah. Bitch! Semper Fide? Semper Fide? S Semper Fide. Oh yeah? Yeah. We're Space Marines. Sure. Oh, I Are thought you that was Fi or Fide? Yeah. F-I apostrophe D. Where did you get the apostrophe D from? I said that she was Semper Fide, not that... Look. Don't be a dick about it. I'm not saying, you know, that the thing is semperfied. I'm saying that she was semperfied. 
Do you know what Semper Fi means? Uh, Six Semper Tyrannus. No. Not even. A2 Brute? Sure. You best, know what? best battleship player ever. You know what? It, it, it's okay. I'm, we're just going to go. This is it. Stay sharp, everyone. Edie's hair is pretty sharp. More like Cherberus. I refuse to laugh at that. <laughs> we need to locate the Prothean VI. The Prothean VI being the one that we found on Thessia. That Kyling took. Yes. Shepard, you're in my chair. This chair's about the only damn thing you have left. Cerberus is finished. On the contrary. We have achieved everything I ever imagined. Almost everything. Yeah. We all saw what you accomplished on Sanctuary. But it's not the same as controlling a Reaper. A significant hurdle. But thanks to the Prothean VI, I have what I need to make it a reality. The Catalyst? Yes. What is the Catalyst, and how exactly will it help you control the Reapers? You'll have to ask the VI yourself. I'm done helping you. When did you start? Do you think because I'm willing to use the enemy's tactics that they're no longer my enemy? Everything, Shepard, everything I've done has uplifted humanity. Not only above other species in our galaxy, but over the Reapers. Bullshit. If you were willing to do everything it took, you'd have worked with me. I don't think so. You're desperate. How many have you killed? Together we would already have the Crucible and the Catalyst. You wouldn't listen. You're still not listening. We, we didn't Destroying listen. Destroying the Reapers would be the biggest mistake of our brief existence. And nothing you can say will ever convince me otherwise. I've given you every chance to listen to reason. Cerberus is done, and so are you. Once again, you fail to recognize the truth. Cerberus isn't just an organization or the people behind it. Cerberus is an idea. That idea is not so easily destroyed. Thanks, Batman. Besides, I've already acquired what you're looking for. Edie, I've almost got it. Edie, I'm surprised at you. Working so hard to bring about the Reaper's destruction. Don't listen to him. You could have destroyed Eva's body, but instead, you chose to control it. It was necessary. My point, exactly. I've got it. Online. Security breach detected. Enjoy your little chat, but don't overstay your welcome. You are attempting to recover me from indoctrinated forces? Yes. I need to know what the Catalyst is. Security protocols have been overridden. I will comply. The Catalyst enhances dark energy transmissions and coordinates the entire mass relay network. In your cycle, it is known as the Citadel. What? The Catalyst is the Citadel. If you told me sooner, we could have planned for this. It was feared that if the Reapers were aware of the Catalyst's intended use, they will retake control of it. I am programmed to withhold that information until the Crucible is complete. It's as ready as it's gonna be. Let's get it to the Citadel. That may no longer be possible. Why not? The one who broke through my security protocols, the one you call the Elusive Man, has fled to the Citadel and informed the Reapers of our purposes. Damn it! Then the Citadel is in danger. The Reapers will take control of it. They already have. The Citadel has been moved to the Reaper control space. Moved? To where? To the system you refer to as Soul. Earth. Correct. The Reaper forces will now consolidate power around the Catalyst and protect it at all costs. The odds of accessing it are remote. We were going to face the Reapers head on eventually. It doesn't really matter where it happens. 
We'll get the crucible to Earth. I hope you find success. Edie, get me Hackett. He needs... Not so fast. You. Yes, fuck this guy. He did warn you not to overstay your welcome. Ni hao, Kailai. Kicked your fucking ass on Thessia, and somehow you won. Yeah, bullshit. All you're doing is making humanity weaker. You're using Reaper tech. I mean, so are we. To be, to be fair. Yeah. Nothing wrong with a bit of Reaper tech. Boy living in the shanty. Is that the best you oh, yeah? Do. Yeah. I mean, I'm mostly just kind of standing around using my three. Yeah. Go good. Go good. Could you be making any more noise? My friends are stupid. Yes, they are. Never take your eyes off a dead body. Always. Even on Paragon runs. 100% of the time. What happens if you don't? Don't for Thane of Miranda, you oh, okay. son of a bitch. The Citadel is in position. The Reapers are preparing to complete their harvest of your species. I'll stop them. It is too late. I recommend it. I'll stop them. It's <laughs> still moving around. <sighs> Pretty. Yeah, man. This game came out seven years ago. It still looks really good. the citadel just now do we know what's going on why it's here the citadel is the catalyst thanks to the elusive man the reapers are now aware that we know and so they moved it here to protect it as far as i can tell what does this mean for the crucible i'll talk to hackett about that but it looks like our plan is even more desperate now agreed i've got a team in london the reapers have been preparing for something here now we know what for. We'll scout it out. Try to find out as much as we can. Roger that. Well, at least we'll be seeing you sooner rather than later. Be careful, sir. You too, Shepard. Anderson out. Alright, so mm -hmm. let's walk around the ship, talk to some people, and then we'll call it. And then next time will be our last one. Sounds great.
got some 55,000 credits because you're at the end game and why the fuck not? Yeah, what the fuck am I supposed to use those for? Strip club? Yeah, ready? let's go to Cora's Den. Hell yeah. yeah. Ready whenever you are, Commander. Specialist trainer. It's all right, Commander. It's a little late to request a transfer now. Stay sharp and get the job done. Today we take back Earth. Roger that, Commander. See if you can talk Edie into, like, you know, victory sex if you get out of this. Yeah. I mean, either you win, in which case, hey, victory sex, or you die and you don't have to worry about it. Time recruiting now. The Normandy is ready, Shepard. All systems are armed, all ammunition is loaded, all reloads have been manufactured. Thruster fuel is at maximum. Cyber warfare suites have evolved in ways that would be computationally impossible to predict. I have also kissed Joker for luck. Nice. Kissed him where? <laughs> you remember our first run to Eden Prime all those years ago? With that Tory inspector watching us? Nihilus. Nihilus. Yeah, I told you that mission was going to be bigger than we thought. Yeah, good point. You, you did say that. And you were very right. <laughs> you also said that specters were trouble. And you didn't like having them on board. Well, based on the mission records, I stand by the first part of that statement. As for the second, it's been an honor, Commander. Same here, Joker. I don't know how it's gonna end, but whatever happens. What do you mean, whatever happens? Everyone knows what's gonna happen. You're gonna kick some Reaper ass. That's what you do. And I'll be flying you there in style. That a boy. And we gotta make sure to get the engineers, too. Oh yes, of course. Maybe we can catch them full on banging this time, rather yeah. than just implied. Oh, it's implied. Let's go see uh, the Gare Bear. We should probably actually check in on the Ara at some point. Eh, yeah, she's fine. <laughs> we never go see her. <laughs> Most powerful source of intelligence inside the universe. Oh! She's like, yeah, you're a uh, We were just... Uh, oh, I, I was, hello. I, just, uh, I came to say goodbye, and well, uh, I uh, think one of my mandibles got hooked on her helmet. Yeah, that's what happens it when you're fucking her. Rupture, so I, I asked him to check. Well, you, you know, because of infection risks, didn't want to jeopardize the mission. So. Yeah. I'm really happy for you, both of you. Thanks, Shepard. Appreciate it. Guess it helps to have something to come back to. What do you mean to come back to? This is just a fling, Bakarian. I'm using you for your body. You're so mean. And I'm okay with that. I love Gary so much. At least Gary we finally so killed Lieutenant Bastard Kai Lang. <laughs> I just hope we get to do the same to his general. It's kind of amazing how everything's come full circle. The Citadel's been the center of galactic civilization. A reaper trap, and my source of employment for a long time. And now it's our salvation for any chance at winning this war. I think it's time we got you back home, Shepard. Earth will either be remembered as the place we beat the reapers, or it'll be a smoking ruin for the next cycle to wander about. One of the reasons I, I prefer other people to romancing these two is because I kind of like theirs. Yeah. Even if it's just at the very last second. I ship it. I kind of like it. It works, because they're both Dextro DNA and all that kind of stuff. You know. Plus, they've been here since the very beginning. And techies. I mean, do you see how fast those computer screens are going? They very clearly know what they're doing. Exactly. He left to lie, Shepard. That's cute. I like that. Yes, it is a good one. Sorry, they are. I don't care. Uh... Let's go see Best Boy. Oh, I'm sorry. Thing's dead. Hey, Shepard. That was rough. So relieved to see you in one piece. Ready to head home? Home. Back to Earth. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm ready. About time. About freaking time. 
And if the Reapers mess with anything I left behind, I'm gonna be so pissed. See you topside, Shepard. <laughs> She's gonna be pissed off. His DVDs are off the shelf. <laughs> He's just like, God damn it, fucking, fucking Reapers. One DVD no longer is alphabetized. That's Those it. Those bastards. Caden single-handedly kills Harbinger. <laughs> but yeah, after Citadel's DLC, I'm uh, Thane's best boy for me now. Alright. I think Thane is alright. Looks familiar. I've been studying this ship. Oh yeah, we, we've it's barely crude. talked to Javik the there whole time. There was a Normandy before this one. You died in an attack. Something like that. But then you were resurrected to fight the Reapers. Maybe you and I have a thing or two in common. But you have something else. The reasons you fight are still alive. The friendships of the people around you. And more. Much more you than this. You human soldier are joined. You could say that. I'm not. Your pheromones are. Is this why you wish to continue living? For their affection? Without that affection, all I have in my life is death. And that's not enough. Yes. What about you? I respect your reasons for being here, but I get the feeling there's something more, Javik. What's in here? It is called the Echo Shard. Passed from soldier to soldier. Prothean to Prothean. Each adds their memories to it. Like a beacon. How far back does it go? To a time before the Reapers. It is all that is left of my people. And you don't want to remember other that? Prothean artifacts. Imagine if yeah, everyone collectors. you knew was dead. You could not remember their faces. Or the color of the sky above your home. The memories were gone. But so was the pain. Would you want to remember that, Commander? Even if it meant watching everyone die again? Reopening old wounds, especially big ones, isn't going to help. Perhaps you are right. There were others. Soldiers who served under me, like your crew. What happened to them? They are dead. Where I left them. We have a saying. Let all ghosts rest. Then there is some wisdom in this cycle. If you can live by it. Man, he is just Captain Bringdown. <laughs> I swear, <laughs> next time you go talk to him, he's gonna want to talk about a bridge. Gabby, is it true you helped repair Edie's mobile frame after that last mission? She just needed an extra pair of hands. I am an engineer, remember? Were oils and lubricants involved? Was there any moaning? In your dreams, Kenneth. Uh, if only my imagination was that good. Good luck with the assault. Wish I was joining you. No, you don't. I've seen you shoot. Fine. Then I wish I could shoot better. <laughs> then I wish I was joining you. Take care, Shepard. You too, Donnelly. Normandy is ready to go, Commander. Give the word and we'll get you to Earth. And Commander, it's been such an honor to be a part of the team. Likewise, Gabby. Good luck. And be careful, okay? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> she just owls. Ah, oh, fuck. Sup, Adams? Donnelly, why do you Normandy like, why do you like your engineer chick so much? Have that you seen what she can do to that? <laughs> We're prepared for whatever hits us. Yeah. And Commander, whatever happens. Him too. It's been an honor and privilege to serve with you. The honor's been mine, Adams. Give him hell, ma'am. Damn straight. I don't think there's anything down here, but let's take a look. Nope. Alright. I'll go down to talk to James and Steve, and then that's it. Yes. Yes? Yes. Okay. Good times. What's up, Steve? Shepard, thanks again for being there. The Cut hole, Steve. Memorial. I feel better. Everything's so much clearer now. Not this one. Glad I could help. This team's okay. But the other ones. All the other ones. Everything okay, Shepard? Yeah, it's great. I want to see the back of your eyeballs one last time, James. Right. There we go. 
That's what happens when you mess with bionics. Sticking it to that bastard Kai Lang must have felt good. Yeah. It certainly did. Just wish we'd have caught up to the elusive man before he could screw us over again. You and me both. Well, at least we get to head back to Earth. I've been asking for it. I just hope I'm gonna make those Reapers pay for everything they've done. It's gonna come out to about tree pity. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Sure would have liked to visit Thessia before the war. Imagine a whole world of those blue beauties. One of the corners <laughs> of the galaxy, if you ask me. But alright guys, uh, that is it for this episode. Next time, the finale. It's going to be fantastic. Yep, we're going to head to Earth. It's probably going to be a little bit of a long one. That's okay. Um, but yeah, we're going to call it here. Uh, so let's do some shoutouts, some penultimate shoutouts. Yes. Uh, also, if I'm not mistaken, I think that this was our 400th episode. I, I have the Excel thing too small to see. I'm pretty sure it is, though. Okay, so maybe 400th episode. Yeah, maybe. Very exciting times. I believe you said that that would be right. I think that this is. So. Holy crap, dude. 400 episodes. 400. Coming up on two years in a few months. That's a bit much. And we didn't miss shit until, like, a couple weeks ago. Yeah, so be good because... For because our entire work got the plague and yeah. we were out. It was really bad sickness. Yeah. So we've been at like half staff for two weeks. This thing hit us hard. Yeah. But yeah, so four hundred, man. Whew. But all the same. Good times. Yeah. Hey, we beat most most other places to get to four hundred first. Yeah. So Yay. Hey. Gosh, we're awesome. But yeah, let's do some shoutouts. Uh, I'm going to do a shoutout to a webcomic. I believe it's a very recent webcomic, but it's kind of exploding. And I really, really love it. And it's called Strange Planet by Nathan W. Pyle. Um, it's about these aliens that basically just kind of do everyday things and they over-describe those things. Like, they pick up a cat and it's just like, it vibrates. And it's like, how cute. That's where those comics you've been sending me are from. Yeah, I, okay. I love them. They're great. It's just like, hey, we we uh, have an appointment in the morning. A regrettable engagement. <laughs> I have nice. this melody machine that will play a, a soothing melody. So soothing. And then it goes off and it's just like, I wish to destroy the melody machine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. I really like these comics. Every I, I, I went out of my way to have Facebook show it to me first. When I, when I log in if there's a new one. So, yeah, go check those out. They're great. I figured that they would fit in pretty well with Mass Effect just because aliens. So, yeah, shout-outs to those. They're, they're great. Check them out. Nice. Uh, my shout-out is actually going to go towards a mathematician that I knew about a while ago, and she's finally getting some better recognition. Karen, and I'm going to mispronounce his last name, Wulenbeck? Yeah, that's I'm, right. I'm sure I fucked that up some way. Anyways, she is a genius mathematician. I've read some of her works. It's so far above me that I have to get, like, Cliff Notes versions to try and understand what she's talking about. Mm -hmm. uh, but she was recently awarded the Abel Prize, which is the Nobel Prize for math. Uh, Are you sure it's not the Abel Prize? Could be. Uh, I don't know. It probably is, considering how they pronounce names, because it's named after a dude. More like the Yes Bell Prize. Uh, like, it and the Fields Medal are right up there as being the most significant. The Fields Medal has different restrictions, like you have to be under 40 and stuff like that. The Abel Prize is just like the Nobel Prize. Um, she's the first women woman to win it. It's been around for 16 years now. They originally proposed it back in, like, 1890-something, but it took them a while to get it up to it. But, yeah, I did not know, did not recognize, I guess, that the Nobel Prize didn't have a field for math. I don't know why I didn't recognize that. I look up the Nobel Prize winners when they're announced. I just had it done. Hmm. Uh, she won it for exploring and writing a paper back uh, decades ago now, I think, and uh, about optimal shapes in higher planes. So like in three-dimensional planes a bubble is an extremely efficient shape because it just expands out in all directions. But if you were to go to like a fourth, fifth, and sixth dimension 
how that shape would change. So it's really, really interesting how she did some very cool vector math and all that stuff to figure that out. It is so far above me, and I'm kind of clever when it comes to math. I'm looking at her shit and just going, fucking no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> so it, it's it's really, really cool. Some of the implications with it has helped us understand a lot about like higher planes of dimensions and all that stuff. It, it's fascinating work, and she she's smarter than I am. And I'm really glad that she's getting an award for it. All right. Okay, guys. Uh, we'll catch you next time with the last episode of Mass Effect 3. All right. Thanks so much, guys. See ya. Bye.